The bright lights and reflections are almost enough to make you forget about those living down in the well. that Walter has used his considerable funds to maintain the lodge, are we I not? You are satisfied with the quarters of the I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. Of course. I will admit what I'm proposing involves a little more cloak and dagger than the usual business meeting. But, we both know that's how the game plays, sometimes. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple, we're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Ah, yes, you're intimately familiar with the area. No need to sugarcoat, then. It's going to be treacherous, but I'm hoping our combined talents will be able to handle it. It just means being prepared for physical conflict, as well as the usual corporate machinations. What do you say? I just need a ride to Neon, we talk to a few of your fellow Neon citizens, and then we're back for drinks. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. So, you don't think I can do it? Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Oh. When the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. All right, we're done. Have a good time in Neon. Smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm mass. Quite true, but also opportunity. Our opportunity. We need to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. The effort to make this place livable is astounding. No end will be accomplished in there all the credits to be made. Security cares far more about what you take with you when you leave the man than what you bring in. Spout. Cut the act. Snippers picked up the Aurora carrying. Second you step through. <laughs> Frank Rennick's all in a twist because it's... Ah, man. Instant sensory overload. I 
I do not know about you, but I am starting to suspect that Benjamin Bay. Clearly the intent is to get us into the Astral Lounge. Shall we follow the signs? Mr. Stroud, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. I see my partner has brought a labor dispute to my office. No, I did not. Look, this isn't the time or the place. I disagree. I don't see a reason we can't have this discussion. I won't belittle your position with some speech about how Stroud Eklund pays people more than average, or our years of charitable contributions. The fact is, the invisible hand of the market does not give out its gifts equally. We are literally in a tower, standing above the streets of the city. The metaphor isn't lost on me. So soon? Very well. Where did you two meet, Walter? I'm intrigued. By all means, let us move on from the talk of potentially sensitive subjects. We're both part of Constellation, actually. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me. Can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Exactly. You can see how removed my husband is from the groundwork, if he's overlooked something so obvious. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage? Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise.
name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Not currently, I'm afraid. Unless you'd like to purchase it on their behalf. Yeah, I hope so. I'm still willing to talk. This isn't getting us anywhere. I'm afraid we can't budge on... Excellent. We... Hope to see you again. This Aurora stuff. I never had the patience for computer systems. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. I understand that. But when you're dealing with a snake like Sieghart, 
Normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. I'd like to think so. We'll see who gets tired. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. Rather be paid now. Eh, done. Had a freelancer trail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset. But Administrator Bay, you can do it. Oh, yeah? His Majesty decided to come down from his throne and walk amongst us peasants? What did he want? Dual's goods has a whole line of I heard there's shortages over at Rely Medical. You can succeed at that before we are discovered.
We're on to something, Mark. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. How are the preparations coming? To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Are they? <laughs> Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Drink was stronger than I thought. That's yeah, what you said. To you haven't seen the leech in a
seller is wearing a Slayton Aerospace. You're doing Constellation. You're coming with us. Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. better watch his back. 
He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems in Neon. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? What the? Security! As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. We have it. This couldn't have gone better. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. It's time to go home. Shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? I'm listening. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. I'm trying to be reasonable here. I hear you. Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slate isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending our men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He screws a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Vanguard, right? Hey, thanks for your service. Hmm. 
Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. I hear you. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. I try to be. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Security is on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. This isn't worth it! There's a vent above you. Just climb up. Get that for you. Ah, 
Anything used to be. Trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. Come <laughs> on. 
You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> you have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although, I do count a few more guns on my side. Your confidence is admirable. Get them! I think I will surrender easily. Give up already. Quiet. Did you hear that?
Word is the Borealis, you know, the DJ? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. Get lost, I have a job. To enhance your life, here and enhance. So go out, have your fun. Adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? Cold-blooded murder was a line I told myself I'd never cross. Do you really think we did the right thing back there? There was no other way. I'm aware of the terrible things that happened in the streets. But I thought, if money and power can't afford you to be merciful, what good is it? I don't know if I'm making any sense. Well, I may not agree with every outcome, but you did everything to accomplish our goals and more. I don't often get a chance to work in the field. So, thank you. 